Landlady, how come the electricity suddenly went out? Exactly why the electricity go out? Who's going to take the blame? In North America in 2003, three electricity transmission wires and the trees surrounding them found fondness in their familiarity and eventually couldn't help coming into intimate contact. The small short circuit triggering a chain reaction and causing the northeastern region of the United States to experience widespread blackout, affecting 50 million people. In 2005, a transformer in Moscow that could not reconcile with having been outdone had the courage to pursue its dream bravely, self-detonated, also causing a chain reaction and massive blackout across Moscow, leaving at least 1,500 people trapped inside elevators. In Germany in 2006, in order to make way for a steamboat to pass a high-tension wire was out, the European power grid gave in immediately when it heard this news, and all of Western Europe fell into darkness. It is not hard to see from the examples given, traditional power grids have a butterfly effect like bad temper. A small malfunction could trigger a massive loss of control across the entire network. This is decided by its own rudimentary technology attributes. The Times Call We urgently need a new, safe, efficient, and stable power grid. The smart grid, that is the intelligentification of the power grid, also known as Power Grid 2.0. Although currently in the research and development phase, awaiting extended implementation, the smart grid has already demonstrated enormous superiority. The first is the bi-directional communication system, remember Earth Hour. At the moment that everyone had turned off their lights, the amount of electricity in use was suddenly reduced. But electric power plants were still burning energy and emitting, so where did the excess electricity go? Here we go. Unlike oil, electricity isn't a case of make what you use, but use what you make. Therefore, an understanding of the exact electricity requirements to the moment is extremely important. However, as traditional power grids are unable to receive real-time user data, this sort of feed the dogs overproduction is even more avoidable. By comparison, the smart grid is furnished with a bi-directional mutual communication system displaying real-time requirement data. So electric power plants are able to regulate their firepower in real time. Previously, monitoring of the power grid was purely a case of mistaking a part for the whole without telephone reports from the earnest masses. The control center wouldn't even know if this wire had broken. Now, the interactive power grid has been equipped with all sorts of intelligent sensors, and the entire power grid appears vividly on a screen, at least we can see. Seeing alone is not enough. The smart grid can also undertake self-repair. In the past, power grid malfunctions required manual repair. And if by any chance the response was not prompt, or the wrong wire was cut, the entire power grid would give in. The power grid doesn't have an intelligent control system. The entire power grid just like, hey, I say you animators, are you drawing a power grid or a fuse? Ah, why has it exploded? The smart grid is far superior. Should a malfunction arise, the power grid system will take automatic control and avoid a breakdown in the circuit. Small issues can even be resolved automatic reboot and repair. If back then they used a smart grid too, forget it, let's just leave it there. Nowadays, there are increasing varied means for generating electricity, including wind power, hydroelectric power, solar power, and even bioelectricity. But as traditional power grids are only able to generate and output concentrated electricity, these low-power, widely distributed new energy sources are unable to access the power grid. The smart grid is far more environmentally friendly and fully compatible. Safeguard of the operation of the power grid relates to the lifeblood of the national economy and energy security. China's national power grid is currently undergoing work in the fields of super high voltage power grid construction, comprehensive transformation of the distribution network, upgrades to the interactive ability of the power grid, and optimizing the market system in order to develop the smart grid. In 2008, the United States invested 100 million US dollars into constructing the first smart grid city in the USA. In 2012, a total of 30 nations, including the European Union, as well as Croatia, Switzerland, Norway, invested a total amount of 1.9 billion euros in smart grid development. And what about China? According to a National Power Network announcement on the strategic targets for the smart grid construction, the investment in smart grid development and construction is a mere 384.1 billion renminbi. 